Welcome back to my Mario Golf Toadstool Tour walkthrough, and I'm going to be using Yoshi for this portion of the walkthrough. I don't know if there's really much to do after this. I'm going to be doing the ring attack with Yoshi exclusively because I like that little juggy dinosaur. And I, of course, done all these, all 36 of the ring shot ones, but I'll be showing you how to do them yourself. Some of these are really annoying, but other th others are really easy, like this one right here. Um, what you want to do is check where the angle of the ball is going through using that little arrow target line thingy. And as you can see, this is going to easily pass through that ring there. So, yeah, just use the C-stick to check the line of where the ball is going to go. And you shouldn't have much trouble getting through those rings, or at least the majority of them. Um, but of course, a lot of uh, the later ones are a lot harder, but uh, we'll... We'll cross that bridge as we go, so to speak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be kind of short. Well, I guess that's not that bad. I forgot these are the regular greens and not the tournament greens. Um, as I told you before, tournament greens are a lot smoother, a lot faster, a lot harder. Um, so it's harder to control the ball. And it also seems to make them spin a lot more, which makes it pretty hard to control. Uh, as you've seen, that first one was easy. I didn't really have to explain it at all. But the second one, uh, take a higher club, like a three wood. And then aim it so it's just short of that ring there, and try to run it up to the hole. Um, wherever the star is, that's where the ball is going to land. So, it should have no trouble getting up to the hole if you... Yeah, baby! That was a pretty nice shot, actually, even for a, um, a regular, normal playthrough, so to speak. And Yoshi is very happy. Oh yeah, of course, uh, there's also a, a thing with this ring shot here that you probably figured out yourself if you've played the ring shot before, is that you have to get at, um, get to the hole in par. So, like, if it's a par 5, like this one, you got to get there in 5 shots. Um, otherwise, you lose the hole. Uh, that's the only catch with these. Otherwise, you can pretty much do anything you want to get through these rings. So, that's pretty much the entire explanation. So, just watch carefully how I do everything, I guess, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do it yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you should be just fine with this after seeing where I play the ball and stuff like that. Um, where you land the ball is just as important as your shots themselves, because you have to set, set yourself up for the next shot. And that's not always easy to do because the rings sometimes force you to hit you at a certain angle that you're not very comfortable with. And I'm just going to barely scrape by with power here. No birdie this time around, but that's okay. It is still a passing grade. Uh, that approach shot really wasn't that good. Ring here, arch there. So you got a ring. It's over here. And then there's an arch over there. And what you want to do is try to play it as short as possible. If possible, I'm, I'm gonna make it go a little bit higher so I can make the ball go shorter. Um, then I'll be able to hit through the second ring on the second shot, the uh, much lower to the ground ring, uh, and then I shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Maybe. Uh, um, see, see, like right here, the five iron. That that's gonna go right over the ring if I hit at maximum power like that to be able to get towards the green. So I'm going to take a higher club and then tone down the power and let the ball run to the green like that. Now it should be underneath the green. So let's try that and see if I can make par. Or birdie would be nice. Birdie's even better. And run, 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 run. It's kind of short, but eh. I got a nice easy chip shot anyway. At least I think. <laughs> this is golf after all. You never know. And, oh, okay, that works. <laughs> that works for me just nicely there. Now, next hole, two ring bunker ball. Oh, boy. Actually, this one isn't that hard at all. See this first ring there? Then the, there's a second ring further up ahead. All you have to do is shoot through the ring, first ring normally, and then you shouldn't have any trouble getting through the second ring. Um, where you land your ball is not as important on this one as it is um, just getting through the rings, so to speak. Like, this isn't a, a place that I normally put myself when approaching the green, but uh, because of the for, uh, the second ring here, I'm going to have to. <clears throat> as, I, as I said, it's like a, a, a plan ahead sort of dealio thing with this course, I should say, with this game. Um, this should be a pretty easy putt, I think. Yeah! Go, Yoshi! Woo! Flying high on drugs. 
And times two. This is the last of the Lakitu Valley course. Wow, that has one quick. I know. Um, for this one, this one's actually pretty annoying. You want to play it just so it's like right to the edge of the ring, like right here. If you and if, don't play it too far. Like if you can, put backspin on it to control the ball. Um, if you play it too far, those trees in the middle will get in your way, and you won't be able to cross over to the second fairway. And if you didn't hear the announcer there because of my voice, uh, I got through the first ring just fine. Now the second ring. Tone down the power of whatever club they give you, and just place it in front of the ring is just fine if you can't get through it, uh, because you'll just be able to hit through the ring on your next shot. Uh, yeah, this should be just fine. And then all you have to do is get it on the green and in, and one putt from there, and then you're golden. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's a little too hard, or not. <laughs> Just the camera, <clears throat> the camera angle there uh, looked like it was going to be too hard, but eh, no problem whatsoever, actually. I am a happy little dinosaur. Look at me flutter. And the next course I'll be playing is, of course, the Cheap Cheap Falls course. Waterfall Arch coming up first. Uh, as you can see, there's this tree in your way right here. That tree is annoying, so try and go over it if you can, as high as possible. Um, using the impact area at the bottom right corner there. It doesn't matter if the ball goes in the rough or not, you just want to get over that tree and in front of that green. Uh, so you can hit through the ring on the next shot and onto the green. And that should be just fine, even though it's in the rough. Trust me on this, the rough does not harm you as much as, uh, not- Oh, shoot! But those rocks do, that was actually kind of bad placement on my part, but that's okay. The rough won't harm you as much as not getting through those rings. Um, I should still be able to make par on this. I just have to save my par here. Uh, put top spin, <coughs> top spin, get it near the green, and I'll just flop it up right near the hole there. Oh, that was a really bad impact area there. <laughs> That's all right. I'm only five feet away from the hole. And uphill. Wait, no, it's it's a downhill putt. Really? I didn't think that was a downhill putt. It must be. Like on some sort of ridge or something on the green. Skid Ski Skip is the next one. And for this one, you want to play your first shot into this rough over here. Yes, right into the rough. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I was going to say control it with backspin, uh, but that was kind of unnecessary because of how badly I hit the impact uh, area there in the red there. Um, well, I guess this won't be that bad. Now, second shot, play it low enough to get under the ring no matter what. Uh, recover later if you need to, but I don't think I'm going to have to. The trajectory is going to be just right for getting on the green and near the hole. That's right, baby. And that's the end of this one. I am a happy little dinosaur. Next one! Donuts, no ponds. Uh, okay, one ring here. Where? Oh, the ring is in that on that central one. Uh, that, see it way over there in front of the green? This is a pretty tricky hole, actually. Because you got to land the ball onto that little island there without it flopping into the water. Uh, hey, don't go in the bunker. Don't go in the bunker. No, 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 no. Okay. Yay! Alright. Um, like this one here. I'm going to make it go as high as possible and tone down the club and try and land it, like, not, not in front of the tree, off to the side of the tree, if I can and backspin for control. Um, I think it's going to go through the ring because of the 2 miles per hour wind. Yes, okay. Uh, if it wouldn't have gone through that ring, I would have pretty much had to restart from there because my approach shot wouldn't get high enough. Uh, oh, is that going to hit the tree? I don't think that's going to hit the tree. I'm going to trust that it's not going to hit the tree. Wish me luck here. Okay, it's safe. And, and there we go. There's our birdie. Yay! No problem. Go, Yoshi! You are the king of drug addicts. Next up, Hunkering Bunkers. Oh, they made a pun. Okay, this one. You want to actually play it not not in one of those bunkers. You want to play it, like, right in front. Like, off to the side, like, about here. You'll see why in just a sec. Um, where you, where you want to place your ball is you want to make it curve after on the next shot from left to right. So you can... Um, get all three uh, of these rings in one shot, like what I'm doing right here. I think this is going to be the right trajectory. Yeah, this should be just fine. And get through all of them. I'm not going to be able to make the green in two, 
But that's the point of this hole. It's to it's to hold you back from the hole. Uh, I might just go right in the bunker. Yeah, but that's all right. Next shot is an easy bunker shot. Let's just plop it, maybe right in the hole. Yeah, right in the hole. I call it. You've seen that. Oh yeah.